Um, as part of the uh, gala performance uh, on the 20th, um, for in honor of the anniversary, um, they invited some artists, in, and one of those is uh, Misty Copeland. And uh, Dwight wanted uh, Clifford Williams and Misty Copeland to do the part of Ave Maria, the duet of Ave Maria, which was originated, uh, choreographed on me and um, Donald Williams. And um, I don't, I think it was 1995, possibly. Yeah, almost when you choreographed that. I'll have to check, actually. Um, I should know that. So, yeah, so they uh, asked me to come, and it's been, first of all, um, the piece is, I believe, one, and I, I'm a little bit biased, but I think it's one of uh, Dwight's masterpieces. And I say that, I really mean that. I looked up the word masterpiece earlier today, because um, masterpiece, you know, it's something that really evokes something in, in the viewer that sometimes is inexplicable, but definitely almost get, moves you, moves someone to um, a higher place, I would say, that's what I would say. Um, and so, and, and why I feel that also is because of the process um, that happened um, in, the crea in the creation, and that is, you know, Dwight, it was Desmond, uh, Dwight and Donald and myself, and um, we were in the studio, and Dwight said, I've heard this piece of music, and I, um, I envision a duet with you and Donald, and um, let's just listen to it. And the music is a, an Ave, Caccini, Caccini's version of Ave Maria, and it was sung by um, um, uh, uh, Václav Kagan Paley, the Polish contratenor. And uh, as soon as the music came through the speakers, first of all, musically, the, 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 the score was just beautiful. And then when his voice came in, it was just, it was many things. It was mesmerizing, it was sacred, it was beautiful, it was um, exquisite. And after the music ended, but I had tears in my eyes, I think they did too, but we both, we all just kind of sat there and paused for a minute, because it was really, it was almost like there was nothing that could be said, that needed to be said, that could top that moment. We just needed to kind of have that resonate with us. Um, and then he said, okay, let's go. And the process of, I think it just took two days to create, um, a, f a few hours a day, and it just, um, the, the, I don't even really remember choreography happening. It was Dwight communicated what he wanted, we responded, the way we responded, fed his choreography, and it was just this beautiful, organic, smooth evolution of this piece. And um, it was suddenly there at the end of those rehearsals. It was like this piece, and it was so, there was nothing else that needed to happen to it. It wasn't, there wasn't tweaking that needed to, oh, maybe let's try this. It was, it, it really has stayed what it, what it was from that first day. And uh, I, I remember the first time I saw the video of it, of us dancing it and realizing what uh, what the piece was really about and the sculpture of it and the ending of it and the unfolding to the final position. I, we, we had no idea. We were in it, but we had no idea. Um, so it's been, for me, it's a special piece because it just lives and breathes in, inside of me. And I haven't been with the piece. I haven't been around the piece in a long time. So of course, first of all, I was honored that they asked me to come. Um, I was excited and of course, then working with Misty and, and teaching it to her has been, uh, and Clifford as well, um, has been just absolutely a beautiful, wonderful gift, I think, for all of us. Yeah. You know, I, I didn't have a chance to see the work when uh -huh. you went down to it. I had a chance to work with you. Uh -huh. And to me, you were, you were such a sensitive artist. You, mm -hmm. you, you lend yourself to the material, and sometimes in a very quiet way. Mm -hmm. And there's a way to do that that you make a very loud noise very quietly. Mm. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, and you, you've always been able to do that for me. Uh -huh. And then Donald to me is the consummate artist. Oh, absolutely. Artist. Having performed it, mm -hmm. and then now giving it to somebody else, mm -hmm. and then when you, in that process, they can't be you. Yeah. They have to be them, but in the same sense, they have to stay true to yeah. the choreographer's yeah. intent. And I'm going to 
be a little long-winded if you don't mind. I saw the wonderful job that you did working for Carol Armitage. Mm -hmm. And I thought, no, <laughs> I, as a rehearsal director and somebody who worked one-on-one -on -one with the dancers, uh, again, you had that calm spirit. Mm -hmm. So they were able to risk. I, I, Carol is very volatile to me. She's uh, such a genius, first of all, can count that music and come in there and do that work. But she needed someone like you who was calm water. Mm -hmm. and and. That's just how it, it was so wonderful to see the two of you interact. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so uh, on that note, what was it like then passing your that the spirit of this work on to another artist? Mm, thank you. Yeah, and, and thank you for saying that about Carol, because that was a wonderful collaboration. I, I really um, I thought we were we were a good fit for each other. Um, and you know, there's it, it's um because Ave, I've I've taught Ave Maria to a couple of other couples and I've seen it I think I don't know how many couples have done it um, it's a trick it's a tricky piece it's deceptively difficult um, because it's smooth and beautiful and seems like it's slow and but it's actually you know almost every you know um, beat or mu musical nuance is accounted for and it, the partnering is very uh, you really got to have a partner that's you know not just a good partner but listening and both partners and so there's real there are under 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 layers of that duet that are not obvious to the viewer, which they shouldn't be, but that when you start to work on it, it really becomes evident. Um, and what's beautiful about uh, teaching Clifford and Misty, first of all, Clifford has been, you know, dancing the language of Dwight for so many years, so so he has that, which is great, and a huge advantage. I've taught it to other couples who don't have that advantage, and. Um, you know, it's 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 fine, and they do well, but it's, it's kind of always just like, um, there's, uh, you know, there's a, uh, Hiroko and Simon from Complexions were exquisite uh, in it, uh, they've done it as well, um, and um, and also David Ingram and uh, Rebecca Camarazzi, Camarazzi from uh, North Carolina Dance Theater. But with Misty, uh, and Clifford, um, let me just rewind a little bit, hold on. Um, so because this is so uh, special to me, um, there is, there is, it's personal, but also I know what Dwight was after and is after in this piece. And so in my position, first you teach the steps, of course, but then, in, in, you want to convey the nuances and essence and the, the things that Dwight is that's essential for it to have in that piece as far as the choreography goes. And then there's a whole other layer that um, that the two individuals that are learning this duet that was done by two other individuals that what they have to they have to find their way with it and, and in, 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 in what's the word imbue Ave Maria with them with themselves. And that has to happen. And Misty will never be me, and she shouldn't be. And Clifford will never be Donald, and he shouldn't be because it's 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 a it's a different duet. Um, so there's there's an interesting thing that I've been experiencing in this process, and that is um, um, there, it's it's bittersweet, and and it's extra, it's actually very personal. I haven't really articulated it. Uh, but it's something that I've, I'm realizing, and that is that um, m my my career from being a performing artist to coaching and teaching and being a rehearsal director happened very organically. It was very smooth. It just I came back from Switzerland from being there for seven years. I started teaching and coaching at Cedar Lake. Then they asked me to be the rehearsal director, and then I was there, and that led me to rehearsal director with Carol and then Trey McIntyre project. And then I kind of turned around one day and said, Wow, I, I guess I. I guess I'm retired or I made that transition. What's happening for me right now in this process specifically is that um, there's a, there's, because I know this piece so viscerally, when I see Misty dance it and I, and I, and I'm sharing the, passing it down, passing, you know, passing on the torch for this particular piece, I can feel like where her body is and I can feel it. I can feel 
I can feel what's what she's experiencing. I, I can taste it. You know, I, 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 I. Of course, it's not it's not the same body, but I mean, it's in terms of what she's processing, and I know what that felt like, and it was glorious. Um, and and so there's a there's a little bit of a mourning process that I'm experiencing right now, because. Although I'm, I don't want that, I'm not looking for that, and I'll never, but I'll never ever have that again. And then, you know, I'm saying that now because you know you hear these stories of like you know athletes or ballerinas who you know all oh, the glory days. I wish I, you know, if I could just have one more chance on the stage. It's not what I'm saying, but there is something about um, um, how how much this lives in me. And then the beauty, and this is the sweetness, of like getting as much of that out of me and into Misty and Clifford, specifically Misty, as I can. Because that's the real passing. That's when it's like fully like, I'm not hanging, I'm not hanging on to anything because I, I feel, you know, well, that was mine. Nobody will ever dance it the way I danced it. Um, I'm, I'm let, that's like, let that go and I'm as much as I can want to give give what's inside of me to Misty so that's that's happening but then Misty is she's at a place in her career where I, I feel that she's she's hungry for this kind of work kind of what you know where I was like I've done you know classic classics I've done the classics and a lot of balance and Misty's like has her repertoire that she's going to that she's used to, and also that ABT has available for her. But this is something she doesn't have; she hasn't had. And I think she's, you know, excited about it. And I, and and when you're doing something new and excited, and and you have this wonderful partner and this dance that's happening, you just want more of that. So now she's really um, coloring it the way she instinctually colors needs to color it. And her instincts about here's the other thing I want to say: her instincts about Ave and taking it in the direction it needs to go are all right. They're all there. The instincts in terms of what Dwight is looking for. And so then that's very satisfying because I wish I could take credit for that, but I can't. You know, this is a real, the collaboration is definitely there, but you know, on Thursday night it will be, it will be, uh, it will be belong to Misty and Clifford. And that's going to be beautiful. And the thing that I, I'm really looking forward to, and I'm already getting a taste of it, is I'm going to watch on Thursday, probably uh, not, I mean, my, my training is to look at, okay, how can this be better, what needs to be happening, what, what needs to happen, you know, how can, but we'll, it's a one-time thing. So there, at this moment, I mean, for now it's only scheduled once, I, I would love for them to kind of try to squeeze it in again, but I think that I'll be, I'll be carried away um, by the piece because I already had moments of that in the studio where I forgot that I'm actually supposed to be watching this thing and, uh, um, and give notes where I'm just like kind of whoa taken away and then I'm like okay wait I'm, I'm here to for their eyes so I need to you know figure out what how they can take it to the next level so it's just been beautiful they work well together um, Clifford keeps saying she's so easy and of course from, from the male perspective when you have a partner where it's easy and it's coming, you can you can just take it further and further, you know. Um, so that was a long uh, response to your question. No, but it, I was, hope, it was thorough, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> and the audience is going to really appreciate it. So I want to thank you again for taking out the time because I know the performance is is, is just days away. And it, yeah. And uh, it's always good to see you. Yeah. Thank you. Well, great. <laughs>